Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's a very hot Wednesday afternoon in Blackpool. Hope you're all doing well. Yeah, we're in Dale Street. The home of the one pound burger. Well, I've come out to do a few things today, but as usual, I bring the camera with me, but I had no plans on filming. But it's such a gorgeous day, I thought I was on the well to do a walk on my way home from Central Pier up towards north through the town, just to say, always carry me camera with me, but I thought I'd have a day off today because I had a few things to do. But the weather's so nice. So many people about. It's absolutely gorgeous here in Blackpool. Yeah, look at it. We we'll say this is midweek yeah. with no uh, holidays, but the promenade, yeah, it's really busy. Really great to see. I'll let you have a look at the water in a minute. Let me just have a wander through. Bit of people watching. It does no harm, does it? If I do a random, a random uh, video, I'll get past all these people. Oh, clear the people now. Yeah, I've just been down South Shore just to see some friends. I thought I'd get a tram back or shall I walk? I thought I've just decided to walk. I've got to Central Pier and I thought oh, I'll just put the camera on. Might as well. But uh, yeah, let's cross the road. If you cross the road, you get a better view of this side, don't you? And you get to see the water as well. Someone has got a friend here. Look at this lot. Yeah, just a random bit of filming. As you do, you all like to be besides the seaside, don't you? It's the ice cream man. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's get down to the water's edge, shall we? Look at this, eh? I am so lucky. Tide is just about, just about to go out. further up shall we There's your peep at the water. It's took a long time this summer to get here, isn't it? Let's just hope this is going to continue for a while because I absolutely love it.
Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the uh, St. Anne's one on the pier over there. And um, if I worded anything in the way that I don't like Blackpool, and this is a different world four miles away, I didn't mean it like that. Because I thought afterwards people might think, well, you go round praising Blackpool, and the next minute you're in St. Anne saying this is worlds apart. And it is different down there, and it is nice down there. But <coughs> where where would we be without this Blackpool? And I love Blackpool. But it just made a nice change for me to go down there, and I enjoyed it. So uh, I just wanted to mention that. I'm going to go down there again in a few weeks, but I'm just going to do some still photography down there. So that's what I used to do years and years ago. Way before internet, I'll say in the very early 90s, late 80s, yeah, I used to do photography, portraits and weddings, but weddings are what I used to do, down south, and that was the old days, the 35 mil, where, where I priced a job, I allowed for how many rolls of film, normally It'd be three rolls of film at 36 shots. Nowadays, I can just come out and you can shoot three or 400 shots to get 30 good shots. So I used to work on that. But uh, I say that was the late 80s and 90s. How it all become about was somebody wanted a portraits I was into, children's portraits of friends, and I brought all the backgrounds. I've still got the backgrounds as we say and um, somebody said would you do a wedding I said oh no I said what happens if it goes wrong or well, something went wrong with the film or when I took it to the professional laboratories where I lived and something was wrong I said what am I going to do oh nothing can go wrong it'll be fine they used to say to me and that's how it started and for certain reasons I stopped doing it and uh, still have the cameras, but they're not worth any money at all now. Cannons I had. But uh, yeah, I used to have all the equipment. All the lenses I've sold, I've got some camera bodies left now, and I've got backgrounds left. So I've always had a, always had a um, love for photography. But uh, no, I'm not going to be doing it now. Before anybody says you should do it. But uh, now I've got some digital, two digital cameras. One big one and one smaller one. Both SLRs, but I don't really use them enough. I know I'm beginning to waffle a lot as I'm talking. I'm not showing you much, which is not very good videography skills but uh, it is what it is but anyway that's the end of that let's carry on walking through here in fact we'll cross the road and we'll go through the town now shall we Excuse me for that, very rude of me. I have been back to the doctors again and uh, I'm all clear of everything. But this cough could take another two weeks to clear up. If it doesn't clear up after that, then I do have to go back. I need to get a drink soon. Need to get a drink soon. I've got a mouth like the bottom of a budgie's bird cage. Oh, it's definitely beer weather, isn't it? 
definitely be where the right a few last night when I watched the football. That was disappointing. They need to get rid of that south gate. On paper, he's the third most su successful manager England have ever had. Can you believe that? It's only because he doesn't let any goals in. He just doesn't play attacking football. And some of his selection's not right. But the big problem, he just doesn't play attacking football. But that's my view. Most of you won't be into football, but... I'm just mentioning it. Oh. Keep thinking I should stop for a beer, but I was going to do that earlier on. When I'd walk from South Shore, I thought I'll go in Mark Kelly's on the prom, which we still haven't been into yet properly. We've done a video in there, a brief walk in. Go in and uh, get a beer. But I kept walking and then I thought, oh, put the camera on. I normally get the tram. But I'm that far down. But uh, not today. Not today. As you can see, we're going uphill. <sighs> yeah, once you get back up this end, it's more of a local's end. So, uh, always it's not quiet up here. Not down the commercial holiday makers end. Oh, that was gorgeous down the front. Yeah, we're all about ten past four now. As I say, bit of a waffly mishmash video, but I was coming through the town and the seafront, so why not? Why not? You never know who you'll see when you're walking out and about, will you? Who said that to me? I know. Mention no names. Right.
Right. It's that time where I say, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. I only do this for a hobby. So, but I would say if you do enjoy the content, please press the subscribe button. And uh, take care. And I will see you all very soon on the next one. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.